Okay, Friday morning in the kingdom, and look at the sweat on my brow. Yes, I've been working hard. I've probably done an hour's work already today. I pumped water up to the house and everything, gathering parts and everything like that. Now I can go walk the dog for more exercise. Oh, the joys of being retired. Unreal. Yes, it's Friday, and it doesn't really matter to me. It's just another day where I have to work hard and avoid the boss, because he's an asshole. So this morning, we woke up to minus 20 celsius but feels like minus 27 it's all lies it's warm out here okay on the yo-yo scale minus 4 fahrenheit but feels like minus 17 yes and the south got lambasted with rain and snow and everything like that so the freight shipments to the end of the world will be laid but johnny has the beer and the hard booze so we're good to go I don't know how he managed it, but he's a true company man, making sure the booze makes it through. All right, let's back up a little bit. All right, get the me phone some fresh air so it can censor me. Look at that. The sun might come out today. We're not sure. Yes. And then over here, follow the gray cord there. Yes, the gray cord, Yogi. Where is the cord? Okay. Oh, ah, there. I don't know where the cord is. I can't see anything. There's a glare. But I got Kijiji plugged in. That was so nice to go for a drive and not get steamed out of my glasses. That thing is useless. Any test drives we've done just around the kingdom here, we come back soaked. Yes, because of the antifreeze boiling up or compression in the radiator and sprays it out the top. So now we'll have to figure out why it's missing on number three cylinder. I'm hoping it's just the valves because we kept the injectors all in line and the spark plugs all in line. So we're hoping the valves need to be adjusted with a bigger hammer. Yes, and today the struggle is unreal with the wood stove. Yes, we're using the same wood, same accelerants to get it going and it won't go. I don't know what's the matter. Maybe due to the rotation of the earth or the cosmos or something, but that stove is annoying. I can't wait till I'm at Shady Pines retirement and I can just turn up the thermostat like the welfare people. Just crank it up. Oh, I'm going to have it so hot in my little room as I'm eating my green jello that tastes like orange. Well, I better go. Here comes the boss. Hey, what's up, Kingdom followers? Sir Rodney from West Trans. Just wanted to show you something real quick here. Joey sent me in a couple of shoes to reline and make look good again. Go. Oh. Look at that. Take the time to clean them up, sandblast them, paint them, put some nice new lining on with nice new rivets. That'll be going on his nice new cats. Not nice new, nice old cats. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom. As you can see, I got the fan on the door of the stove because this wood will not burn. It's the same wood that was giving us excellent heat yesterday, and now today it won't give us heat. But I had to clean up the shop and organize it. As you can see, the famous black cat still has snow on it. Okay, so over here, oh, can't forget the promo bike. Yes, what an expensive coffee table. All right, so over here, we marked everything because at my age I'll forget and at my estate sale people still don't want to buy this stuff and not know what it is. So here's the mags. They would only go putt putt on Kijiji so it's written on the thing. If they won't make it run it's because of the impulse. All it is is go putt putt. Plus we cut the floorboards for op. That way they're two piece to go back on when we do install it. You never know my plasma cutter. <laughs> Might not work when I go to do it or whatever, but they get it done so it's ready to go back for installation. And we're getting things organized, the pails and everything. So when the staff comes with her skidoo and the toboggan, we can haul stuff back to the IH uh, cat parts trainer. All right, so over here, I cleaned off the workbench. That was better part of an hour. And then we got out the quality steel. Cause you gotta remember these are 1940 style cats. So of course we're using a 1948 Dodge body panel. Yes, a Dodge body panel, but you can't criticize or joke around being Dodge. It's American steel, quality steel, American steel. All right, probably the place that made this steel doesn't exist anymore because now it's been replaced by one in China. All right, so over here, we made a complete block off plate. Yes, I got fancy. So this is the thermo and it's going to work out good. And that's what we're blocking off is that hole there. Okay, we're going to keep trying different things on Kijiji. 
But you have to remember, these IH cat heads are known for splitting. So one little overheat and they crack. Yes. So we're going to try this. We're going to try that. And if we crack the head on Kijiji, that's okay because it's a pitted head. We don't want to crack a good head, you know, like the famous black cat's gone swimming 18 times and we've never had a problem with the head on that motor or anything like that. And I got my gasket cut out. Okay, this shop is chilly this morning. I've actually got chilled, so now I'm going to have to go in the house and have a hot drink with some vodka in it to warm up. So maybe this afternoon I'll wander around outside because it might be warmer. Unreal. We got wood that won't burn. Okay, Kijiji's running on gas. No big drama in starting them. Lots of choke. Fired right up. Not like the other two magnetos. Oh, unreal. Okay, working outside seems to be a lot warmer than in the shop, but then again, I had that Bunsen burner blowing on me when I was working on the motor here. Plus the fact the motor is warm because of the block heater, so I left my tools on the head and everything so the tools stayed warm. So we have the full block off plate in the thermostat housing. Okay, but running this yesterday as a temporary, it let water by. That way we knew if this cylinder head was cracked or anything like that while it was well pitted, so we didn't know if we were going to have compression in the rad just like the other head. Also, too, this head is, uh, how would you say, the valves had to be readjusted. That's why it wasn't running yesterday very well, because number three valves weren't closing all the way. So I adjusted those this morning with the heat from the block heater and the Bunsen burner blowing on me. Now sitting here running and acting normal, we're having air movement coming out here. So we pop this out, put another one of those special washers in, and then tighten it down, and then give it love taps with the brass to try and get it to seat. Hopefully that'll work. And then we're gonna put the hood back on and maybe go pull the drag. Yes, pull the drag, make it work hard. And then we can walk the dogs better on our trails instead of falling down. Okay, I use Kijiji to move communist cat. That way I can come through here with the drag. Yes, I got the name right on this cat. It's the communist cat. All right, so Kijiji's been running for over two hours. No steam show out of the rat or anything like that. Hopefully we'll pull the drag and get the engine to run a little bit better and then we can figure out the governors and stuff. Oh yeah, slowly coming. This has been a long project, but we don't give up because we live at the end of the world. Friday morning in Whoville and it's just after 8.30 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head to work. As you can see, there is no sunrise this morning. It's pretty cloudy out there. I'm pretty sure it's going to snow because it has been warm the last couple days. As you can hear from my feed, it sounds a little crisp out there this morning. Now it's time to let the dogs back in and get to work. 12.30, I just finished lunch. I had grilled cheese and ketchup. We can't have grilled cheese without ketchup on the side to dip it in. I had a pretty good morning teaching the grade three fours again. Today was my last day subbing with them and they only had a half day of school, but I have to go back after lunch and go have a couple meetings and then clean up the classroom and a few other things and get ready for the teacher to come back. But now it's time to let the dogs back in and get to work. Just after 4 p.m. and I made it home from work, it looks like we had two packages in the mail today. This one's from Amazon, not sure what's in there. And then we have this one over here, which came in a baggie with a little note on it. I guess a bunch of the packages got mixed in with some substance here in the corner, as you can see right there. I'm not sure if that's blood or what it is, but when I go to open this box in the kingdom, I will be wearing gloves and taking lots of pictures. Now let's get the skidoo out and head on over and open these up. Almost 4.30 and I just made it to the kingdom. Looks like my dad is always Kijiji pulling the chain drag as you can see here. But I'm going to head inside and do a little video on these two boxes I picked up at the post office today. Look at those clouds as well. Wow, the sun's trying to peek out from behind them, but it's giving it a pretty cool effect right now. Just opened the box from Amazon. We're not sure who it's from, but I'm sure you guys will tell us in the comments. Thank you so much. We were greatly appreciated and was not expecting this at all. We got a bunch of flap discs here as well. And we got some flux core welding wire. That's awesome. I know we need some more tips as well. Thank you so much. Now it's time to open up this other box and see what's inside it. Wow. Just opened up the second box and look what was inside. Wow, thank you so much, Mary M. That is greatly appreciated. We finally got your box. There's even a little note here for me as well. I'll just show the top half of it because I think it's awesome there. Thank you so much again. We are going to enjoy all these snacks. And of course, we need the band-aids because we are always getting hurt. Look at this little oil can. As you can see here, it's about the size of my hand. It is so tiny. I like that. It's really cool. We'll have to add it with the collection here. Now it's time to head outside and see what my dad's up to. Wow, thank you so much. 
Now we are down at the front gate using Kijiji with the chain drag to do a few passes around the yard. It is also running a lot better now too, now that my dad's worked on it and cleaned everything up. There's still a few things we have to tinker with it, but since we're taking it out and making it work, we'll be able to figure out what else is wrong with it. Over by the wood pile, my dad's cutting down all the branches that are sticking out. That way we don't run into them, or when we have the caboose and sleighs down here, they don't run into them. It works perfect. Now that he's up on the cat, he has the reach. Now I'm in behind the house. The rabbit tower is just on the other side of the trees here. I'm waiting for my dad to bring Kijiji and the drag around. Then I can video him climbing up the little hill here. And then he'll do two passes. I'm not sure what else we're doing, but I guess I'll find out after. I can hear him coming, so I better get ready.
Kajiji is running really good. My dad was able to go in third gear up that little hill in the last video by the rabbit tower. Now I'm just going to zigzag around and get a few little clips of him dragging. We're pretty much done, but we're just going to do a final pass. Up on the rabbit tower now I haven't been up here in a long time there is a lot of snow as you can see it's about halfway up the pipes here now I'll just wait for my dad to come down the trail here and then back into the kingdom Just after 5 p.m. we are officially done in the kingdom. My dad just unhooked the drag and now he's going to take Kijiji back down to the shop and shut her off. I'm going to head inside and divide up those snacks that we got. I am very surprised by them. My dad hasn't even seen them yet, so hopefully he enjoys them as well. But let's head on in and package those up and then we'll go see what he's up to. 5.30, I'm officially done in the kingdom. I grab the water jugs and my half of the snacks. That way I can go shopping in the morning. My dad wants a ham for supper on Sunday, so that means I get to pick up a ham with potatoes and everything like that. So let's head on back into Whoville and do the weather. Just after 5.30 and I made it back from the kingdom and already put the skidoo away. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and do the weather. Almost 7 o'clock and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 15 degrees Celsius, which is 5 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been like this for the last couple days. The only thing that has changed is the bottom part here. It's also really warm. It was trying to snow earlier, but now it's cleared up and there's some stars out. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in because they've been out a while, make supper, and end my day. Okay, Friday, and I'm very pleased. Kijiji finally runs normal. We can't figure that out. All we did was change the head and put a pitted head on, okay? And we didn't touch the injection pump, the injectors, or anything like that, and yet it's pulling the drag in third gear. On all other times, it wouldn't even pull it in second, that it would have to have issues. So I don't know, maybe we're losing too much compression into the cracked head and going out the radiator. Plus, this thing ran for close to four hours. And we got a little bit of antifreeze on top of the rad from heebie-jeebie and bouncing all over the place. But that's good. That's normal. And that's what I said. That's the longest this cat has ever run. And the thermostat worked. Yes. Even without my glasses on, I could sit there and watch the thermometer. The temperature gauge. It would climb up just below 190. And then it would drop down. So that is good. So we like that. So the thing was running good. We're very pleased. It only took five long years, but we did it.
Okay, we're quitting early. It's 5 o'clock or 5.30. I don't know what time it is. We just stocked up the wood stove. You can barely see it. I don't know why the wood stove wouldn't burn today, but then again, when I was trying to boil water for coffee, it took forever. So we must be in a low pressure air system. We dragged the yard so it's nice and smooth. So now I have no excuse for falling down. I can just say I was drunk before I could say, oh, the ground was uneven and rough because all the ruts. And look at the flags. Yes. Look at them looking good. Just enough breeze. All right. I'm all smiles because five years and that Kijiji actually runs and pulls the drag. Yes. I don't know how that happened. That's the most expensive cat I have in the kingdom. All right. Yeah, I'm going to be calling him my ex-wife or, yeah, rename him to my ex-wife. Yes. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer in victory, and make a video. Talk to you later.